Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Art of Rally. Let us begin. Stage 3 out of 4. San Benedetto slash R. We are about to start. So let us do the repairs which have to be done and let us begin the stage. So last episode we've done quite well for ourselves. Although at the end of it we did end up like in ninth place uh, at least rally wise and that was a pretty bad situation for us. We, were, we did not do that well speed wise on, or time wise on the rally tracks and that was an issue. I'll try to rectify this by trying to go a bit faster on this rally race but um, I don't think it's going to be easy. The car that was randomized isn't particularly uh, easy to control and this is one of the reasons why I'm struggling a bit with my time. I, I constantly have to fight the car to make sure that it doesn't sk skid around too much. Which is never great. Also this road is so goddamn zigzaggy. Again, I don't think there will be roads in real life which are this ridiculously curved. It's like we're trying to go through a mountain path. But I think we're making good time, we're not even 2 minutes in and we're already past the halfway point of the, ra of the rally track. So I think we're, we're making good time. Just like this over here. Yeah, this is the end. So we finished the racetrack in 2 minutes and 47 seconds. The rally we're on, we're on 6th place, which is surprising to me. I was sure we would have done this quite well. I'm amazed that we did so poorly. Damn. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue onwards. The final stage. Port Maga. Oh, and we're finally getting a new weather condition. We're, it's finally raining. That's a new, but that's a pretty cool feature. I was expecting rain to happen at some point, but uh, it just wasn't, it wasn't that prevalent in this game up until this point. In fact, I haven't seen it at all. Like I've been complaining in the previous video, I would really like to see raining and snow 
in this game, which I've not seen up until now, and finally we're getting rain. I would imagine that at some point we will also get to see snow and colder temperatures, maybe somewhere else in Europe, or maybe in North America or something, that would be quite cool. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let us begin. No repairs are necessary, so let us begin the stage. Oh, and the headlights are on. That's interesting. I wonder if the rain will have an effect on the skittishness of the car. Because there's water on the road and it, it's technically more slippery this way. Come on. The trees are definitely not helping me. Come on, just go left without skidding around. I'm inclined to say that, yeah, the road is far more skittish at this point. Like, the water seems to have an effect on the slipperiness of the road, which is not a good thing. We barely started the race and we're already pretty far behind. Will you just go in a straight fucking line, you stupid fucking car? Like, it's not that fucking difficult. Hmm. I really hate this fence though. It's really causing a lot of issues for me. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to the slipperiness of the road, but uh, yeah, controlling the car is far more difficult than uh, on average. I'm also I'm definitely not sticking with this car for the rest of the game. I will be randomizing once this rally is over and getting a new car. I really don't like this one. It's so much more difficult to control. God. Just go in a straight line, will you? Oh, this is a nice section. This is a pretty straightforward part of the racetrack at least. We can just accelerate indefinitely over here. And we're going to be making progress now. Although we're kinda behind the time I will have to say. So much more difficult to control the car in the, these circumstances, god damn it. No, don't. Why are you stealing right? I didn't. I wasn't stealing right for crying out loud. Like the water is seriously hampering my attempts at trying to make good time. I constantly have to to correct the car and its uh, trajectory. It's really not pleasant at all. Oh my god, 
get the fuck out of my way. Look how much the car is kidding, it's like it's on ice. Like this... That's not how... That's not how uh, tires work. There has to be more... Uh, more contact between the tires and the road. Stick to the goddamn road. We're almost there. We are almost there. We correct the course and stop skiing, goddammit. Finally, the exit. <sighs> it took us six minutes to finish this and we are on 7th stage unsurprisingly I did pretty terribly at that uh, at, this, at this specific rally and the rally result is that we are on 6th place that's not that great so yeah we are on 6th place pretty damn shitty the SKV2 is just not a good car god damn it I am not particularly happy with it. I, I def I'm definitely changing the car. Rook free, okay. We unlocked Das Uber Whip, which is uh, obviously a German car. Odd to think someone looked at this very large supercar and think it would be a great rally car, but it was done anyways. It scored some incredible podiums on asphalt tracks with a few updates to better cope with the jumps. Cool. And we also got... Livery for the Zeto. Okay. We got some new cars either way. Now we're heading into 1976. And this one is going to have five stages. And two rallies. I'm not entirely sure how this will work. The AI difficulty is good enough as it is. Why did I not get a chance to select my car though? I, I, I don't get that. Oh well, either way. I wish I could change my car, but apparently the game didn't let me for whatever reason. I don't know if there was a bug or not. But apparently we're going to have to stick with the SKV2 for this... Uh, for this portion of the game as well. So is this Germany? Where are we playing on? I didn't look, I, I wasn't paying attention. It looks European at least. It feels like Germany. Damn, the environments are so goddamn beautiful. Yep, Germany, Hawk Wheeler. Did the car just change? Like, this isn't our car. I guess the game just decided we should have a new car on its own. Well, I'm not particularly complaining. I'm glad that we got a different car, but at the same time, what the hell? Well, anyways, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.